Ebola, economic development, threats from terror groups, all those issues will be on the table as leaders come together this week at the African Union Summit. They're all expected to choose a chairperson. And as CCTV's Groom Chala reports, there's already one controversial leader poised to take that spot. On Friday, Ethiopia's capital, Addis Ababa, will host the much-anticipated 24th African Heads of State Assembly. Africa's collective response to the terrorism of Boko Haram and how to curb the effects of Ebola will top the table. Hopefully we can persuade the heads of state that we should campaign to end this Ebola and to ensure that uh, the countries that are suffering this epidemic uh, do not suffer a, a lot of economic setbacks. At this particular summit, the chairperson of the African Union will be changed. It is the turn of the Southern Africa region, and expectation is high that the new chair will be the 91-year-old president, Robert Mugabe of Zimbabwe. We, we expect that he will give us the necessary support, and, we, we, and he will chair uh, the committee of his peers, the assembly, and will do what is necessary. While Africa's economy is on the up, it won't be a walk in the park. The continent needs to find adequate and alternative means of financing its products and tackle the effects of climate change. This is why the African Union formed the African Risk Capacity Insurance for member states to find quick financing to minimize the effects of disasters. Disasters in particular are, are areas where countries find it very hard to, to get the financing quickly in place to react to disasters. Longer term effects of those disasters are huge on, on developing countries. Um, they set back development, they put people back into poverty who are working themselves out of it. So what we're trying to do is to facilitate a better flow of funding which is um, which both is quicker and more responsive but also includes the governments themselves in that response. From Nigeria to Liberia, Cairo to Johannesburg, Mogadishu to Nairobi, everyone in Africa wants to see a peaceful and prosperous continent. However, even the African Union itself says there needs to be huge public participation to make peace happen in Africa. After all, the continent cannot afford to see another year of chaos. Grumtala CCTV at the African Union headquarters in Addis Ababa.